It does send a terrible message that, hey, groups of 20, 30, 40 motorcycle riders, you can take over the streets in New Orleans and the police are pretty much not going to do anything about it. Caught on camera, a group of people on four-wheelers flying down a busy New Orleans street, and the person who shot the video shocked, especially at the NOPD's lack of response as the motorist just rode by in plain sight. Tonight, we went to the NOPD to get answers. Bikes, but maybe 30 guys on motorcycles just taking over the entire street on a Sunday. And you can see the group speeding down Claiborne Avenue, heading from Earhart towards Carrollton. They're popping wheelies and at times swerving in and out of traffic. Local radio host Corey Johnson recorded the video. That one guy who was popping that wheelie and almost his back was touching the ground on the four wheel. I'm behind him. So I'm looking in the right lane. Can I get over if he wipes out? Can I jump up on the neutral ground if he wipes out? And Johnson says the most upsetting part the crew passed two police vehicles along Claiborne Avenue. One NOPD SUV was stopped by a motorcyclist who was blocking traffic. I don't think the police can pursue it because of the consent decree. And then what are you going to do? They're, they're all going to spread it. You're going to catch one guy. I, I, I don't really know, but it does send a terrible message that, hey, groups of 20, 30, 40 motorcycle riders, you can take over the streets in New Orleans and the police are pretty much not going to do anything about it. The NOPD responded saying what it comes down to a split second judgment call for officers whether or not to pursue suspects on the streets of New Orleans. And all of this comes as police and city leaders try and crack down on people doing illegal donuts across the city. Many of those incidents caught on video. Council member Eugene Green is working to make quality of life traffic crime issues like this easier to enforce. A lot of this is because people want attention. Green is proposing an ordinance that would slap offenders with a new charge, blocking traffic while illegally operating a vehicle. Under that charge, first time offenders would get a $1,000 fine. Second time offenders would face $5,000 in fines and wouldn't get their car or bike back until they pay up. I mean, I hate to say it, I'm a native like you and we kind of get used to some of these things we see in New Orleans. To read the full statement from the NOPD, go right now to WDSU.com.